Yo, what up? This your boy Bitty B. Yo, what on the street? I got my homie C. Whoa! Up, right there up? to the right of me, man. Hey, what's up, bro? Man, just trying to live life, man. Enjoy it every day I can, man. Oh, I already know what it is. Big money gang. Keep it one thing. The reflection me is that, man. Go grab it if you ain't already got it. Grab records. Uh, you can get it at CD Baby. Dot com, you know what I'm saying? iTunes or holler at me, man, on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Holla at your boy, man. Big money, let's get it. <laughs> Already, man. That's what's up, man. So, yeah, it's a little hot outside earlier, though, man. So, man, I appreciate you inviting me over to the crib, man. You already know, man. You already know. And I, I, like, I like your little setup you got right here. Man, hey, man, this is where we, you know what I'm saying? Relax your mind, get you in that right state of mind if you need to be in some time, man. You know what I'm saying? This is Man Cave, baby. Yeah. So what, what, what does that mean, the Man, man Cave? Like, this is where you want your music at? Or how are you coming? You man. Do all, man. You write your music, man. You, uh, you just get, with, you know, just release yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? And just relax, man. You know what I'm saying? Let your hair down, man. You know? Or oh, just let your weight. So man, uh, yeah, man, we, we call us the man cave for some fact, man. We call all the man business state, you know what I'm saying? We call business in every state. Alright, you know what that's what's up, man. I see you got the posters, man. Oh, yeah, man. We got the posters, walk man. right there. You got the right, man. We got pop, man. You already, you already know. Ain't no need to say nothing about pop. You know what I'm saying? Got some stuff that's going right beside him, you know what I'm saying? Hey, buds always stick to go. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I'm a roster fan, man. That's why I keep the gun got the lock, man. I'm half Jamaican, so uh okay. you know, so, so you know, that's where it is and man I'm a crew of the walking dead, man. So see yeah, you know, man, this where this is where it is, man. Got my family out on the wall, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I see the change. Oh uh, yeah, Barack man. Obama. Obama, man. Obama, man, you know what I'm saying? You already know. Two times in that motherfucker, baby. <laughs> Let's go, man. Shit, any black. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Already, All man, right. that's what's up, man. Uh so, uh, so, wh where you from again, man? You from Plainview? Plainview, Texas, man. If you don't know, now you know, man. PV. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, where it's all gutter at, man. Y'all don't know shit, man. Hustles is all in that thing. If you ain't working, you hustling. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just how it go, man. If you ain't hustling, you playing sports or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But besides those street, man, that's all it was down there, man. Already, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah, man. I know a little bit about Plainview. Like I played ball here at Texas Tech game in 2005, and uh, Jamal Wall, man, he's actually playing in, uh, professionally uh, in the Canadian League now, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I know a little bit, though. They shout out to him, man. Shout out to him, man. PD, shout out to him already. He played in front of me, though. But still, <laughs> hey, I was still coming, but he's still playing. You know, but I'm doing radio. It's all good. Word on the street, baby. See, Walk, hip hop artist, man. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you see, he rap and he sing. Oh, That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. So, man, so, hey, but, hey, let the people know, man. Growing up in uh, Plainview, yeah. like, how, like, how was that, man? Because it seemed like you had to choose, and you, you was a hooper yeah. uh, growing up, man. So, how was it, man, growing up trying to keep your head? Keep your it, was head kinda, it was kind of hard, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I didn't have no fun or figure. You know what I'm saying? My papa always worked with my uncle. They was just playing ball with us, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, they also kept me to know to get that money, man. And you know what I'm saying? But it was hard because my mother was a single father, single mother. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have no father figure like that. You know what I'm saying? So shit, the streets called me in, you know. So I learned everything straight from the streets. Like real talk, man. Uh, and you know, from and from being in point you either work the XL, people know what that is, man, killing cows for a living. And you know what I'm saying? If you ain't had no job, you either hustled across the tracks, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my niggas across the tracks still getting that money. Try to get a mid, or a mid. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard that in one of those verses. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, uh, either you hustling, playing sports, or you, you know what I'm saying? You got a job. So, see, it was hard, man. So, it was, a, it, was a, it was a blessing for my mother. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mother. One million on her, you know what I'm saying? For moving us from playing. Now, I love playing to the death of me, but it was a blessing for her moving from there to low. You can see, I could be dead. I could be locked up. You know what I'm saying? I see her mind just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, 
you know, it was it was a blessing for her to do do that to us and bring us down here. Ever since I've been here in the hood, man, shit, I call this my second home, you know what I'm saying? Just because shit, 806 is where I'm at, and that's where I reside, and the city is where it put me on the map, you know what I'm saying? So shit, from the radio to everybody loving me, hearing me sing, hearing me rap, hearing me play in a beat, beat bop, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Shit, hey, they was right behind me, they understood, they knew who my name was, you know what I'm saying? So, look it up, man, it was... It, it was it was a blessing for both playing music and love, man. Oh, really, man. Hey, yeah, I feel you on that, man. You say like your mother was a single mother growing up, man. Yeah. And, and uh, with that being said, is that like the like where do you get that where do you get that passion to where you can just sit and write some music? And like when especially when you come to sing, man, it's like how you bust it out that singing early, man. Like how you bust it out that singing early, man. Like how you bust it out that singing early, man. Like how you bust it out that singing early, man. Like how you bust it out that man. Where does that come from? Man, that comes from the choir, man. That's from being in the church, man. That's from being in the church, man. And, and you know, having those people that pushing you because they know that you got a talent. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it all came from. My, my grandma, my, my papa, they preached the word. Rest in peace to my papa. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's, a, that's a big, big, big thing. He a big thing in my heart, man. Like, uh, without him, man. We shivers would be who we are, you know what uh, I'm saying? So, uh, so he like kind of sparked something up in you, man. Yeah, yeah. But it's, a, it's something about the old school cats, man. Like, shout out to uh, my great great grandma, uh, Sally May. Man, man, she rest in peace, but she believe uh, she lived, I believe, to be like 105. Man. Oh, man, that's, that's and uh, cool. one thing she always said, PJ, that's what they told me back in the day, PJ, make sure you listen to your mom. I I guess I gotta change it. Uh, I guess I gotta change the diaper then, man. You know, <laughs> but but anyways, man. But but that's cool, man. So you just raise up in church, man. So that helps that helps bring that, that passion, passion out, bring that music out, make you all that soul feel. You know what I'm saying? I always bring you back home, man. Like church oh, yeah. always bring you back home. Like I don't care what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? If you don't been in church, you're going through some bad times, go to church, man. It's going to bring you back home. It's going to bring you back to where you need to be. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. I, I feel that, man, because sometimes, like, you can move, like, because you, you're coming from Plainview to Lubbock, Texas. Like, me, I came from Oklahoma to Lubbock, Texas. And sometimes you can you, you go to church where you're from, and they, they feed you. Yeah. And so whenever, you know, you can be away from not being fed, and then you can go to a church, and then you be like, ooh. Hey, I ain't had it like that in a minute, bro. Before, before, before. when you get in there, yeah. before when you come out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 man. That's what's up, man. Hey, that being said, bro. So, man, so so tell me, man, how is it, man, growing up, like, like as a black man, man, trying to, um, trying to survive, pretty much, because you know you got the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, going on, man. In my opinion, Black Lives Matter is just another way of saying, I have a dream. So you know what I mean? So so what's some yeah. advice you can give some people out there, man, that's just trying to keep their head above water, man? And I, what I, my advice is this, man, is to keep believing in God, keep that faith, you know what I'm saying, for the ones that ain't got nobody. You know what I'm saying? God has always got his ears open. Like they always say, may not come when you want them, but he gonna come when it's on time. You know what I'm saying? When that per when you need him, you know what I'm saying? He might not be right then and there, but he gonna come right when you need him. Unexpected, and it's gonna be the best time. So, man, always vent to God, man. Always vent to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And then, man, listen to me. Let's stop killing each other, man. Let's stop killing each other and stay and stay and, and, and positive on empowering our people. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just saying, "Ah, oh, that uh, fuck that nigga because he got milk more than you," or "fuck that nigga because this and that." Man, nah. You know what I'm saying? Support that nigga. You know what I'm saying? We all got something going on support. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, man. Let's stop hating, man, and start loving, man, because that's what's wrong right now. And I ain't on curve. It's black on black, black on white, black on Mexican, black on Asian, black on China. I don't care who it is. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we got to we gotta start loving each other, man. But really, on our black people, man, we got to stop killing each other. Because, see, it all starts back in the day, man. It all starts back in the slavery time. And we don't want the time. We don't want the time to, you know, cut to basically come back like the clothes. Mm. You feel me? We don't want, <laughs> we don't want the, we don't want the rest of this, man. Let's uh, keep believing in God. Keep that faith. You know what I'm saying? For the ones that ain't got nobody. You know what I'm saying? God has always got his ears open. Like they always say. May not come when you want them. But he's going to come when it's on time. You know what I'm saying? When that per when you need him, you know what I'm saying? He might not be right then and there, but he's going to come right when you unexpected, and it's going to be the best time. So, man, always vent to God, man. Always vent to the Lord, you know what I'm saying? And then, 
man, listen to me. Let's stop killing each other, man. Let's stop killing each other and stay and stay and, and, and positive on empowering our people. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just saying, ah, oh, that uh, fuck that nigga because he got milk more than you or fuck that nigga because this and that, man. Nah, no. you know what I'm saying? Support that nigga. You know what I'm saying? We all got something going on support. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, man. Let's stop hating, man, and start loving, man, because that's what's wrong right now. And I don't own curve. It's black on black, black on white, black on Mexican, black on Asian, black on China. I don't care who it is. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we got to we gotta start loving each other, man. But really, on our black people, man, we got to stop killing each other. Because, see, it all starts back in the day, man. It all starts back in the slavery time. And we don't want the time. We don't want the time to, you know, cut to basically come back like the clothes is. Mm. You feel me? We don't, want, we, don't want the, we don't want those times to come back just like the clothes is. I don't know if yeah. y'all feel what I'm saying. Just like you know fast, fashion, just like repeat, fashion. Fashion you repeats itself. Saying? So let's stop the repeat of killing yeah, us. Let's break the cycle. Man. Pretty much. Because cause if, if everything else repeats itself like fashion, then we will get days like colored bathroom, white bathroom, colored restaurant, yes. white restaurant, and it's like we have we have to be careful uh, 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 and be mindful of what's really yeah. taking place right now and who's really exposing who. And it's crazy, man, because nowadays, man, I've never just known the politics to be so much televised oh, and so much, man. We know it's political. That's what it's called politics. But nowadays, man, it seems like it's just. All for TV, you know what I'm saying? And now people are saying, I mean, people say something about Donald Trump all the time. But prior to this, prior to Donald Trump running the first president, almost majority of black people wanted to be like Donald Trump. Oh, yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Because yeah. he was he was the embodied uh, he was embodied of the American dream. But now he's he's starting because right. there's the two types of people in this world: two people that want you to uh, two people that want you to succeed. And there's another person that wants you to fail. But Donald Trump, we was like, oh, we can be like him, be like him. And then he opened his mouth. And now we get to see who he really is. And it's like, oh, man. You should have never opened his mouth. You know what I'm saying? For real, let them speak for you. You know what I'm saying? Like they can't do it. All right, I'm, man, all right. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, man, and, 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 and which is crazy nowadays, man. So, uh, like Barack Obama say, don't boo, vote. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that, that being said, bro, like, talk about the church. You talk about, like, how, how when your grandpa died, man, how that moved you, man. And you see me right now, it's called Reflections of Me. Yes. And right now, man, I feel like you got a very positive message yes. to get across, man. Yes. So, so is that why you wanted to name this album Reflections of Me? The reason why I named this album Reflections of Me is basically I want you to get everything up. Uh, a lot of people know me for singing and rapping, so you're going to get that. But they don't understand what else I can write. Basically, I'm going to bring you back some 90s music. You're going to hear something like, oh, that's 90s. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where the music is. That's where the ladies is really feeling the music. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, it ain't like that. So you won't get that. You also get some pop music. You're going to hear some, some real soul music, like some stuff that I've been through, me and my lady been through, my kids been through. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get that. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to get some stuff you can ride to. You know what I'm saying? Pull a slide back. Get that thing playing for the summertime type shit. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're going to get some smoke shit because I'm smoked out. 420 is what it's called, man. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get all that, man. That's why I named the reflections of me, man. Looked in the mirror. At the time, I was like, who am I? Like, who am I? You know what I'm saying? Who, am I the, am I walk Am I Tim? Am I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, C-Dash? Am I uh, King of the Sing? Am I, who am I? So I was like, hey, reflection of me. Let me look in the mirror. You can feel You're going to get everything of me. But on the next one, you're going to get a part of me. I want to give you everything of me on my first album. And oh, everybody right. know how I am. So said, when they hear it, they should be like, oh, yeah, that's him. That's right. It. All right. Let everybody know where they can pick this up real quick. Yeah, man. Y'all can pick this up at, man, Dirt City. You can pick it at Raph Records, iTunes, you know what I'm saying? CD Baby or hit me up on the social media, man. Tim Shivers is my name on some on Facebook. But Sea Walk is my name all the way around, man. Yeah. Sea Walk, yes, yeah, so, oh man. What? Is, what? <laughs> yeah, everybody asks, man. Hey, what you what about Sea Walk? Yeah. <laughs> where did Sea Walk come from, bro? Yeah, that's a, that's a, uh, Shoot name, man, you know what I'm saying? It's, they be cripping, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that shit don't matter no more. It's all about the green, man. It's all about a movement, you know what I'm saying? And this game shit ain't paying you niggas. 
So you might as well get up out of it. You know what I'm saying? Before it kills. Because that's all it's doing is killing us, man. Let's get up out of that gang shit. So uh, that's where Seawalk came from, man. And, you know, ladies okay. trying to see walk for a whole different thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, uh, so, so, so you, had to learn, you had to learn from yourself first experiences because you say, you know, gang's not really where it's at, man. Yeah, man. So. Or man, how would you end up getting? Did you end up getting caught up in like the gang life? Or? Man, it was just in the it was just in the street gang, man. You know, you had you had sides that take you in, just like bloods take young niggas in, crip niggas take young niggas in. At the time, man, that I was I was riding up with crips, man, and where I come from, you know what I'm saying? So you had certain sizes you gonna fuck with, this side or that side, you know. Like I said, I didn't have no father figure, man, so it was. Basically, me said I'm. I need them. You know what I'm saying? I need them to show me how to basically be a man, how to get some money. You know what I'm saying? How to put new shoes on my feet. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it was hard for my mother to always buy me clothes. You know what I'm saying? She's a single mother, man. Two jobs. Come on, man. Back then it wasn't that. It wasn't just that easy. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't easy. So uh, you know, that's where that's where the name came from, man. And I always wear blue. I never wore red. You had to make a name for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You was was pretty much looking for that gratification. Uh, pretty much that security from not um, not so much of a person but so much of that father figure yeah. pretty much because sometimes man we are born into situations that we can't control yeah. and, and sometimes yeah. our mama that my mama are out there trying to provide just to try to make sure that we trying to trying to keep us out of trouble yeah. but sometimes she kind of lead us to it it's because she's so she's trying so hard to just feed us and keep us at home and keep us out the streets. But we see we see her struggle and we see her pain. So we try to think of what can we do? You know, just to, just, yeah, just to eat, you know. Because we see that we see we see that we see that look on our mama eyes and, and us as being men and we sometimes like you said, you don't know your father, man. And I remember growing up too, I knew who my father was, but sometimes I feel like they made it a little harder. It's because I know what you are, I know what you look like, but I'm but I'm still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's almost like I got my hand out. You know what I'm saying? But you know, everything, that's me. For a reason, I can't bro. respect people like that. Like I don't, you know what I'm saying? My bros, man. Oh uh, man, shout out to my bros, man. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit. Talk, shout out to all the man figures out there and my motherfucking bros. Because I can oh, say out of my clip, man, every last nigga I fuck with from my brother Lawrence to my brother Mike to my brother Swan to my brother Eric. To, uh, 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 team, you know what I'm saying? We all take care of our family. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't miss a day without seeing our kids. Mm-hmm. You know, we all got our kids. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't even have my dad. Like, I, I don't even, all I know is his name. You know what I'm saying? All I know is his name. That's it. I see a picture of him, but I ain't, I, I don't know. Him. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, for me to have that type of, uh, Father supposed to be fitting not to have one and I'm being that type of man, man. That's why I respect people like like that. You know what I'm saying? You doing your thing for your kids, man. All it is is just to be with them. I ain't tell you to be with their mother, but be with your kids, man. Like that's your seed, man. You know, that's nobody else, that's yours. I can't I can take it for somebody to take care of mine. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not walk, man. That's not sleep walk, man. Yeah, like, man. And that's crazy how some, sometimes like us. Sometimes it be like uh, some people don't. They what well, you know what they say, man. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Sometimes it's like sometimes it's meant for a man to see that kid getting taken care of by another person, and then they be like, "Oh, I need to get on my stuff." You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if that wouldn't have happened, hey, he might have never thought that. That just goes back to show everything happens for a reason, yep. and, and you have to take things. In a yeah. positive light, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, that's crazy, though, bro. But uh, man, but I see, man, you've been doing your thing, man, and and, and then with your music, and I see which one you enjoy most, singing, or do you enjoy rapping? Man. I mean, but it's just because right on top, man, you, hey, <laughs> boy, got yeah. some vocals though. Yeah, man, I, I really, I really like singing, man, just because it's so soulful, man, and you can just let it out. You know what I'm saying, like. Especially you can sing, you can just let it out. And rapping, man, you just express yourself, you know, too. So, but singing is where it is. You got so much soul, so, man, so much in the heart. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. I- I like singing, man. I like yeah, singing. man. I feel you. I feel you on that, man. If I could sing, I would. But, but hey, man. I could, hey. But that, because sometimes when you're in a car and you're singing, you sound just like them. Yeah, yeah. And then, just record yourself. 
That's what I did. I was like, oh. Nah, <laughs> it went on for me, man. But I can throw a couple of rhymes together, though, bro. We want to get together. Yeah, man. yeah, we might have to, man. Yes, yes. But uh, we go. So you living in? The, how long you been living in the uh, 806? Man, I've been living 806. You know, all my life, man. Shit, from Miami to the Lower, man. It's straight 806 between dirt. <laughs> Amarillo to the Lower, 806, man. So, yeah, man, I've been, I've been living in 806 for a long time. For playing, I left for playing when I was like 14, 15 years old. I've been down here ever since, man. So, so man, tell us, man. What's some what's some crazy stuff you done got involved in? Like, this year in love you, like, man. Because, man, I came here in 2005. I was in crazy parties. But, I, like, I was here as an athlete. But you've been as an artist, you know what I'm saying? But, man, I'm going to say you're a family man, you know, but you ain't always been a family man. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? I don't know it's some crazy stuff. Yeah, well, 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 you can tell some people what not to do. If you have to tell somebody hey, I, I what not to do, what, what would you tell What's them what not to do? Hey, I, you ladies about to get mad out this, but, uh, they don't trust these bitches, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I'm just saying, you never know, man. You might be shining and shit, you know what I'm saying? You never know, she might be plotting on you, mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? It goes vice versa. But, shit, that's one thing I can say, you know what I'm saying? Watch them, you know what I'm saying? You'll know who your heart If you've been over with them for over five years and they've been down with you, like I say, down for whatever ski mask and shovel, they've been down with you after five or so much years. That's what you need to be with, you know what I'm saying? I've been with Miles for over 10, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's been strong, man, you know, so... You know, shout out to Miles out there. Love you, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, yeah, man. My thing is, soon. You, you, you better watch your back, keep your jaws clean, keep your nose clean. You know what I'm saying? Stay on, stay on, stay on point, man. Stay on your toes. 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 Hey. And let, yeah. and let them know, man, it ain't it ain't about disrespecting women. Yeah, yeah, you man. know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It ain't, it ain't that's about. the thing, man. A lot of, a lot of y'all need to realize, man, that's where it's not at. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where. We're really messing up that man. Let's stop beating our women, man. You know what I'm saying? They they are precious, man. They they are prizes to us, man. If without us, we wouldn't be able to without them, they wouldn't be able to plant some for us. You know what I'm saying? So it all starts out with them, man. You know what I'm saying? See, Adam needed Eve. You know what I'm saying? So hey, I'm gonna keep it like that. Adam needed Eve, man. So let's keep it let's respect our women, man. Let's keep our hands off of them, man. So our generation will know that's not what we that's not what we do, man. We protect our women, you know what I'm saying? Because some countries don't give a damn about women. You hear what I'm saying? That's why y'all need to really be thinking about who y'all gonna vote for. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that, that's real. That's some countries real, don't give a damn about a female. Yeah, man, that's real, man. And like women, you know, they're the most precious thing on earth. You know what I mean? And, uh, and they are made for my rib if you want to get biblically with it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I mean? But nothing to take nothing away from a woman, but that, hey, that's God speaking. You know, don't get mad at me. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, hey, like I say, you know which one is the real one? You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Yeah. It's like, it's like, because cause sometimes it's men, man. Sometimes... We, we knuckleheads, man. Yes. No, we all knuckleheads, man. <laughs> we all knuckleheads to certain, certain things, man. My, that's what my papa used to call Knuckleheads, yeah. bro. <laughs> knuckleheads. We used to knuckles on our head. I'm like, that's why you call us knuckleheads? Nah, nigga, because you are headed. Yeah, you are like you knuckles, man. <laughs> I'm about to knock you out. You know what they you say? The old school say it's cheaper to keep them. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. cheaper to keep them. You know what I'm saying? But, it, but, but that's wild, though, man, because, uh, like, you know what us men, man, I think because we're the uh, alpha male, you know, we are made in God's image, you know what I mean? And, and some people say if I had Holly Berry, I would never cheat. If I had Beyonce, I would never cheat. Stop, Stop man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, it, it's almost like it's not until we find out that that woman is really for us. And sometimes it's not really until we mess up. Yeah. And she and she cut all ties. Yeah. And that's what we're like, oh, man, I... Yeah. I guess I love her, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because usually we be on to the next one like it's nothing, but then it's always that one that that, 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 that keep us. And we like, man, I, hey, she ain't answering the phone, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, so like, so majority of times, I'm not talking about everybody, but majority of times, sometimes, like, a female will take, we don't know we love them until they just exclude themselves out of us. You know what I'm saying? And then that's what makes us do whatever we got to do to get them back. 
You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the girls who know they work and won't put up with any of that man BS. You know what I'm saying? We may go ahead and do what you do, girl, but hey, sometimes I could be a spot of family. Boy, that's another thing. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, keep, man, that's my thing, man. Treat your woman right, you know what I'm saying? Keep your hands off of her. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your kids, man. You know what I'm saying? Because family is what, that's where it all is. Without family, you ain't got nothing. When I mean by family, I mean by the people that got love for you, that shows you that respect. You know what I'm saying? That's your family, man. The ones that's been there for you from the beginning. No matter what you've been through, bad times, hard times, all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I done been through it with all of my homies. I've been through it with all of my sisters, brothers, you know what I'm saying, kids, my wife, you know what I'm saying, I've been through it all, but shoot, they still hurt, they hurt, they still hurt, you know what I'm saying, after all of that, after all the arguments, after all the BS, they still hurt, man, and all I got to say is one billion, man, one billion, you know what That's what's up, man, because, like, man, the, 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 the thing about life, man, is the, which is why I start the present in my belief is because if you wake up every day and you can open up your eyes, that's God's gift to you. That's why it's called the present. And sometimes, like, because there's a lot of uh, su 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 uh, suicide things and stuff that's going on, it's like sometimes everything can look like everything's coming down on us and we feel like that we can't go on. And that's sometimes when we would take it into our own hands and take our own lives. But it's sometimes all you gotta do is just keep going, man. Cause success can be right there. And sometimes like y'all to put you through some stuff, take away some stuff. But then if you just keep going through that stuff, he will bless you with two times more of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So so it's just like we just gotta keep you gotta keep pushing on, man. So no matter what you've done and what you've been through, life's about making your dreams come true. So see walk. What's some advice would you tell somebody right now, man? It's coming up from plain view. They, they, they can't control the situation. That way he was born into to help him stay in something positive. And when I say something positive, I don't mean being a millionaire. I don't mean that, you know, you got all this million thousands of dollars in the bank. I'm talking about just how you get content and happy yeah, with well, yourself. First of all, man, I always say I keep God first, man. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you got in your mind that you know that you wanna do, you gotta go for it. Like for real, don't let any everybody's gonna stop, everybody's gonna try to stop you because they already know you successful. You know what I'm saying? They already see you successful in. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you wanna try to you wanna try to keep that, man, and keep your mind focused. Stay away from these drugs, you know what I'm saying? Especially you young kids, man. Y'all y'all doing things that y'all shouldn't even be doing. All this popping pills, y'all don't even know what y'all popping. So let's stop that, man.